Hey guys, we're starting a new drop here. Um, kind of an interesting one. It's like a two phase drop pull for the underground. So the tub is just right here. And then we're going about 120 meters to a pump house on the property just over here. From the pump house, it goes another 60-ish meters, 70 meters to the nib on the outside of the house. So it's gonna be pulled from here to the pump house. And then I'm gonna go to the house and he's gonna feed from the pump house into another conduit and uh, we'll do it that way. So. Hopefully it goes smoothly. We already proofed the conduit. We're using the old copper. Uh, the conduit's like a one inch. It's gonna be super tough to rod, 120 meters. Um, confirmed it's out of service. It was fully disconnected in the nib. So we're good to go. And uh, now we're just getting the 200 meter uh, reel set up on the stands and uh, let's get it going. So we're going through this conduit here and we're using this copper to pull, but I wanted to get it out from underneath all this stuff. Ugh. Can you get the lube, please? Yeah. Lube. Whoa, look at that spider down there. Damn. Ugh, getting creeped out. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. So this is where what we're attaching to. I'm gonna pull a tracer, I'm gonna lube. Um, let's see. PVC, what? The PVC. The PVC. Okay, so we have our drop here. I'm gonna get it taped off to the copper. You have cutters? Take cutters. Oh. Okay, so we're just getting prepped here. Get everything ready to go. This tracer is so thick. This is one of three jobs we have left to do here and then we're heading home. Nice little three hour drive. The weather was really cloudy and stormy over there, but it's looking pretty good now. Very sweet. So, ready to go here. This is no bueno. But he doesn't want to set this up. Going on here. Oh, my one too high. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Pretty much ready to go. Let me lube this up. Make it a nice smooth pull. Some poly water. Sweet. Okay, I think it should be pretty smooth. It was moving back and forth pretty easy, so he's gonna call me in a second. Ready when you are! I asked him to take a little video of it in there for me, so you guys will probably see that just now. So the plan is to pull it from here. Once it gets to the pump house, I'm going to cut the tracer and then take the tracer to the pump house and then we'll pull it to the house. So it should be pretty smooth. This is a 200 meter corning off the top. Looking good. Yeah, it's, no. it's going to be hard to start off, but just it'll get easier as it goes. Okay, and we're off. Might be a bit of a slow go. It's a pretty long pull. 
but the more he pulls the more of that copper is out of the conduit and it's just this thin fiber so it gets easier as it goes and as well it leaves lube residue in the conduit so then the fiber coming behind it this goes through more slippery okay we have about 80 meters left on this guy he's pulled it through i'm going to cut the tracer and uh i don't have my side cutters but let's just see if we can cut it there we go a little bit of copper or steel get this over bring the lube and i'll see you guys at the pump house okay so now we're inside the pump house we have the fiber with the tracer from the roadside and this is the one going to the road or to the house rather so we're going to cut this and this is the one that we're going to use to pull to the house and we're going to re remove this box so now I'm just going to tape this up, get the new tracer going from here, and then go to the house and pull. Okay, so we're taped off, ready to go, so it's just going to transition, boom, just like that. We have tracer attached here, and I have it mounted with my handy little contraption here that I made. You can just bolt it onto any surface. So yeah, ready to go, I'm going to go to the house and start pulling. Okay, we're over at the house side. Everything should be prepped here for the pull. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Okay, catch you guys when this is done. Okay, so I pulled out quite a bit. Um, and we're kind of jammed up. I think we ran out of drop at the tub side. So I'm going to go check on it and then uh, see what's going on over there. Okay, so we got here. Tracer and drop. We have enough. Um, just going to cool this up. Then we're going to go start at the tub, I think. Finish at the tub all the way here. Just to see if we have like a crazy amount of slack at the tub side. I might pull some more. So I'm going to finish that up and then work my way back. Okay, so we actually have a decent amount left. Not too bad though, maybe 20 meters at most. Not the end of the world. We'll just leave the coil here. So, a little trick that we can do. Take this out. And pop all these. You can uh, put these away. Yeah. Take this off. And then... I'm gonna slide all of the drop off. little coil that's what's left over there just left over here can you pass my pouch please and uh, tag So we're pretty much good to go here. Just gonna call it a tag. Please. Beauty. So obviously having this much slack is not ideal, but it also doesn't impact anything whatsoever. This tub is pretty congested, but. Yeah, not the end of the world. Put some zip ties on this, get it plugged in, and then it's good to go. Initially, I was thinking, thank you, thank you. Initially, I was thinking of pulling all this 
all the way to the house but it's just a lot of effort for really no result at least now they have a good 20 30 meters slack should they need it perfect okay get the tracer let's wrap the tracer around Snap. Going into port three. Port number three, which should be this one. Let's see which side. Yeah. So port three is here. Beauty. Let's get this plugged in. And there isn't a numbers on this nap let's see 7207 port 3 let's get it Seven two zero oh, seven four three. Okay, let me plug that in there. Okay, so we got the tag on, and then I don't like seeing these disconnected. So I'm gonna tap them into each other. Beauty. I'm gonna take some pictures and then head to the pump house. Okay, we're back at the nib side. Everything's prepped, clean to go. I cut away all these old like phone lines that are in here. They're practically useless. There, there really isn't a single use for them, to be honest. Um, I would like to just cut them all away, but I'll just keep them there just in case something, I don't know. The tech and the owner already have a path for the inside. They're gonna come down and drill in right here. But that being said, let's just tuck these in right here. Okay. Okay. So while uh, Buddy's over at, over there sorting that out, I'm gonna strip this. Beauty, and we're pretty much done here. This was a fun little job. Not much excitement, to be honest. I don't know why he put that there. Get this stripped. A little bit of rain hit there for a minute. I think I gotta change the blade on these strippers. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Don't want to pull the fiber. There we go. It's just that beginning. It's a really beautiful property here. I think they have a couple acres. There, you can cut it from here right now.
perfect. Okay, let me cut myself some Velcro before I start rolling it up. I hate these old school boxes, but it is what it is. Nice and neat. Perfect. So gave buddy over there some specific instructions on how I want the lines groomed and saddled so let's see how well he followed the instructions I'm gonna go over there in a minute sweet so what's left is for me to write the info in here take some pictures but that's it there I'm gonna clean this up and then see you in the pump house okay let's see what we got going on over here come on perfecto good job easy peasy Oh. Just needs a duck seal. Trajite? Did you bring? Okay. okay. So we're just missing some duck seal. It's looking good. duck seal just grab it roll it into a ball and then kind of make it into like a cone shape and that's when I show it in can you get me the marker from my pouch please I'm gonna mark which is which so it's, it's known They kind of come in opposite. This comes from the road and this goes to the house. This comes from the road and that goes to the house. Just super weird. Yeah, one second. Thank you. Perfect. Take some pictures and we're good. Okay, so we got the drop done. Um, it went pretty smooth. No real issues whatsoever. Um, I calculated it to be about 180 meters. I think we are within that range, 170, 180. So perfect. Bit of slack left in the tub, but she's all good. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. On to the next. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub and uh, join our Discord.